Hey, this is Deepa Lu, Sacred Artist here to talk to you about how I started creating sacred art. So here's Yogananda. If any of you have read Autobiography of a Yogi um, or are on the path of self-realization, you, you know who Paramahansa Yogananda is. He's a great uh, avatar, a Swami that came from India to, come, uh, to bring East and West together. And so I decided, um, Yogananda here was actually my first portrait I ever did with, of, of a human being. Um, because when I started to learn how to oil paint, they, they had me paint, uh, my teacher had me paint, you know, fruit. Um, and it was fun because I was learning how all the things about value, but it wasn't the same as what, what I do now, which is, you know, create sacred art, which is really from my heart. So anyway, so let's go back to Yogananda. I had this intention. I wanted to paint a portrait. I wanted to paint a, per a person. So I decided, let me start with a photo. And so this is one of the most famous photos of um, Paramahansa Yogananda because it's on the cover of the autobiography of a yogi. And when I decided to paint him, I thought this thing popped in my head about, you know, like infusing his vibration into it because he's got a really powerful vibration um, and it's, it's, uh, it's uh, specific if you're on the path of uh, self-realization and, and he's your guru. So I wanted to paint him and actually infuse his vibration into the painting. So I had this crazy idea, at least at that time I thought it was crazy. I don't think it's crazy at all now. But back then I thought it was crazy, but I thought I'm going to do it anyway. I want to infuse his, his energy into it. I want the painting to have life as much as possible. So I started to paint him and um, I had this little ritual I, I made up, but I started to paint him with this clear intention to um, infuse his vibration into the painting. So I went along painting, painting, and painting him. It took me weeks to do because it was my first portrait, so there was a lot to learn. And so um, near the end, when I was done painting uh, him, a, uh, a fellow artist there who I, I actually knew, we were friends, came by and she's walking by and she's like, hey, Yogananda's in the house. And she's got thumbs up. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, hey, I did a pretty good job with it. Um, but as I completed it, I hung it up to dry and left it in the art studio. And I came back a week later to check it to see, like, is it dry? Is it ready to varnish? And when I was there, there was a woman who came up to me who I did not know. And she said, are you the person who painted this paint painting of... Uh, Paramahansa Yogananda? I said, yes, I am. And she said, oh, I just wanted to let you know I'm a disciple of him and I follow, I follow Yogananda and I can feel his vibration in the painting. I can feel his power. And I, I, I hit me like right in my heart because I realized like, wow, my intention to doing this is not a crazy idea. It works. Because um, my, you know, my intention was that people would feel his power and feel blessed by it. And she said she really felt that. So that's how I got started was I started with just a, an intention that came to me that I thought was crazy. I don't know if you've ever had something like that where you get an idea or something comes to you. Uh, could be when you're meditating, could be just when you're out in life, you know, that I really believe that spirit talking to you and you want to listen to those things. So if you have any inclination to like, you know, like you're a spiritual soul or you want to create sacred art or you're an artist that like wants to, you know, discover more about spirituality, I invite you to like come along with me in this journey and keep tuning in because I'm going to be set, uh, putting up other videos about, you know, sacred art and my journey. So have an amazing day. Blessings. Take care.